Hey guys, this is going to be interesting. So I'm gonna let you take a look at little Miss Mia. This is her first time traveling with me. First time. And she is being a champ so far. Um, I got this case a while ago, it was like 50 bucks. Which, it's, I mean it does its job, but I gotta be honest. The tags are crap. Last night I had to put a lot of anti-fray stuff on them and stitch them because they were all falling apart and like pulling off. So for something that expensive, that's ridiculous. Um, we've practiced a few times zipping up. Um, for a couple months actually I've had it under my desk at work so she just goes under in there and kind of cuddles with her little nook. So she's gotten comfortable with it. The zipping up she doesn't particularly love but I usually <laughs> shove a treat in there. And once she has a treat and she's looking for it, she's happy. <laughs> and then I reward her. You're being such a good girl. Yeah, such a good girl. Um, I have put this off for a long time just because I'm terrified. She could be an emotional support animal, but she's not trained enough. Like she <sighs> whines and yelps a lot when she sees um, too much stimulation, especially other dogs. So that doesn't really work. <laughs> not well trained. Um, but she's just being a sweetie. I did get some uh, relaxing treats from the vet, and I think maybe that's helping part of the way. And yesterday, I took her to Office Depot in her carrier, so driving around in it and exposing her to people and another dog in it, just kind of breaking her in. So, um, we'll go more into the details about standby and maybe some tips and tricks and stuff. I do have a whole video on traveling with pets if you're curious about that. I'll link down to that below but anyway um, we're just waiting for the first flight. It was a rush. Um, I'll talk about it more. We'll have some extra time at our connection because we got two flights today and then we're gonna see some family. So flying standby I did get my favorite seat a window seat. It was in the back. It was a pretty full flight really cramped on these smaller prop planes but you know I got on there and uh, little Miss Mia poor squished under there um, she's she was okay though I'll talk about how she did but the beautiful sights you know people that don't fly or get the aisle seat you know they just don't get to appreciate the beauty that comes outside the windows anyway I like it for napping I like it for the beautiful beautiful things and um, make my first connection and then heading on to Salt Lake after that. I figure this is just as good as any other time to uh, just whip out the camera in a busy airport. <laughs> Actually all of these seats were like crammed recently so I'm not mad. Um, little one here. She's just laying down. Um, I have been surprised by how well she's doing. I think that the calming uh, treat definitely definitely helped. And she knows I'm right here, and she knows she's not getting out, um, except for the fact that I did have her out. <laughs> uh, when I got off the plane, I had her on my lap for, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes. I didn't let her get down on the floor, and she was just there, and she just stared and looked at other people. When they'd walk by, she kind of perked up, thinking that they were gonna come say hi to her. But, yeah, it's going well. Um, I think we're gonna go find the pet relief area and uh, see see what that's like. Good evening. Today was particularly tough. Um, I am in additional training at work and uh, very, very tricky stuff. You have no idea how complicated tickets are, especially international tickets, good gravy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a fun thing. But I'm having to change my schedule and get up a lot earlier than I normally would so I'm not getting as much sleep, uh, put in some extra hours. So I got like five hours last night and I knew this was the last flight out, the first flight um, that I took and then the connection it was the last one that would get me there tonight. So I left the moment I could from work. So um, got there in time. TSA, I take her out of the carrier, hold her in my arms, we go through the metal detector and then they... Um, test my hands for explosives. So um, it was really easy. I think just like managing her and especially when she saw a dog Then she got a little whiny and a little bit crazy, but still pretty calm But on the plane she just was a champ Like I think when people would drop things or when the turbulence was pretty bad I could feel her kind of move around 
<laughs> for the most part, she just laid there calm. So that, that's, I don't know, that's really exciting for me. Of course, once I started filming, she wasn't as playful as she was before. For some reason, my dog is camera shy. <laughs> anyway, um, we probably dawdled too much because we did not have time to go to the pet relief area. After all, um, we were playing, cuddling, I was taking too much time playing <laughs> Wizards Unite and barely made it to the plane. <laughs> I mean, I had like five minutes, but uh, yeah, it was close. I got premium seats, I got extra leg room, no neighbor beside me, got the window, is really nice. And it was definitely a lot less cramped from my foot space and her, it felt so much better. <laughs> she is still in like, mom, can, can I get out, yeah? Um, hummus and carrots and grapes, yummy, yummy, natural treat, and just some beautiful sights again as we go. This, um, this trip has been a couple months ago, probably. <laughs> Sorry, it's taken so long. I just got done moving. Um, I dropped my laptop one too many times, so I'm going to buy a new one. So just be patient with me. Um, the time I am getting this uploaded. I'm going to be heading to Costa Rica in less than a month, so I will have another adventure and hopefully it won't take nearly as long to capture and show you guys all the fun. But anyway, beauty. Getting in at night. Okay, well, I am here. So the thing about playing standby is you don't necessarily have a guaranteed seat, which is always a little nerve-wracking. And um, kind of as a backup, I can fly on other airlines. Not as good of a deal as on my own airline. But um, definitely not as good of a deal when you have a pet because they don't let you do it for free. You're still gonna pay 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. So oh, the, the standby portion is over. I have a guaranteed ticket home. So now I have just over 24 hours to see family. Um, I've got some grandparents that aren't doing very well and uh, just some gifts to give and all that stuff. So mom's gonna pick me up. Let's go ahead and head down. This one is so ready. Mia, are you so ready? Let's, let's go. Let's go. So this is my mother's father. Had a really nice visit. Um, he was actually having a really hard time in the nursing home rehabilitation center. They, that wasn't a very good place. So luckily, at, a couple days after this visit, they got him out into a new place. And um, I think he's back home now, but he was having a really rough time. So I'm glad we got to visit. Hey guys, so um, I thought I just brought Mia so that I wouldn't have to inconvenience other people with watching her, but I'm really, really glad I brought her. I uh, went to go visit my grandpa. It was kind of the main reason. There's a lot of visits and things that I wanted to do, but I definitely wanted to visit him. I haven't seen him in a few years, and he's just not doing all that great. So I wanted to come say hi, and um, <laughs> it was funny because he, he didn't really seem like he wanted to see the dog but I went over and sat next to him and she curled right onto his little bed and um, he was just petting her the whole time and smiling and it was great I was so glad you know dogs are therapeutic uh, minus the part where the nurses knocked on the doors and set her off on a barking fence <laughs> so anyway we're going uh, to do some shopping I desperately need some shoes and pants and all the things and I don't really like shopping, but if, it, if it's with my mom, then that's fun. And then we're gonna go see my nieces and nephews, and then my other set of grandparents. I have to say, in my mid-30s, I am blessed to still have four living grandparents slash uh, step-grandparents, because I have, I've had six grandparents. So I still have four alive, and uh, the aging process is kind to no one. <laughs> but it's still good to have them around and be able to say hi on the occasion. So uh, we're gonna do that. Grandma's birthday is on Monday. So um, just a couple days early, but that'll be fun to be there with her. And gosh, then in the morning I have to head home. It's a really short trip, but that's the blessing of working for an airline is you can just pop on a plane and not be like, cool, I just slapped down a few hundred dollars for such a short trip. I can do it without having to do that. So counting my blessings. All right, I'm just here to buy some shoes, but can I just show you this, the mountains? I honestly don't know what I would do if I moved to a place that did not have mountains because I am used to them constantly being around. <laughs> I 
I always love being able to spend some time with family when I go to visit. Stop by and got to see my nieces and nephews. <laughs> they had fun with the dog. And um, just playing some music, hanging out, all the good stuff. Um, licorice ice cream. If you at all like black licorice, very tasty. <laughs> I think that's going to be my thing every time I go like, hey, family and licorice ice cream. <laughs> anyway, so this is my dad's mom. We visited my mom's dad and now my dad's mom. And uh, grandma took a fall, broke some ribs. So she is definitely bed bound for a while. And she could always, uh, always use a little cheering up. She was so excited to see the dog. <laughs> and uh, just some more of God's paint, paint work, artwork. Um, so far she's a little more agitated than I think she was last time. Security went well though, there were no other, no other dogs so far, so no barking problems. Uh, Mia, Mia, that's a good girl, yeah. She's like, mama let me out. So far I was able to grab my seats because um, this is not standby. And so far I'm in a window without someone right next to me. So hopefully more foot room, more comfortable, but we'll see because I know there's some standbys and it might get full. Well, I got some good Wizards Unite Harry Potter gaming um, in the long TSA line. I definitely recommend, definitely recommend eating solid food, not just protein shake, before flying. Really. All right, well, I am home. Um, don't even ask, like, it's, it's the end of the night. <laughs> so we're gonna do a quick recap and I'm gonna give you kind of the tip suggestions summary of how that went with Mia. So I didn't really film anything on the return because I was not feeling good. Tip, you should be well rested and have solid food. Oh gosh, solid food um, before flying because I, whew, I almost tossed my cookies there and I usually do not get that sick on planes. So there's a tip for me. She was a little whinier on the return, but to be fair, um, we spent several hours flying for her first time. And then the next day, it was non-stop. It was like marathon family visiting. Lots of driving and being in the car. And then just flying back. So I think it was just a bit much for both of us, honestly. But she was very happy to get out of her little kennel. Um, I would be interested to try a hard one, like the hard plastic. While this is nice, um, I think for a dog her size, even though she'll fit in it and she can move around in it, like when I pick it up, it kind of um, like doesn't hold its structure. So kind of like can wobble and kind of not necessarily squish her, but I don't know. I don't know that it's the best, but um, we'll see. <laughs> I am very, very grateful for the calming chews that I got from the vet very worth it. I think that made a big difference for her because she usually is more stressed out and oh, whiny with the chaos. I am so sorry that I'm yawning. Oh, I need to go to bed. Uh, one thing that I liked was that security was actually, dare I say, even breezier than usual. <laughs> Granted, I made sure to plan so it was very easy to get out, like my liquids and just very kind of smooth. But I didn't have to go through the regular screening machine. I went through a metal detector and then they um, kind of swabbed my hands for explosives. Which, usually I have to go through the machine, which I have to wait in a little bit of a longer line. So I kind of shortcut that. But when I go through the machine, almost always there's something and I get a pat down. So this is a lot smoother. So that was good. Um, to get her in her kennel, basically what I found to be the best was I would have the flap open at the top, you know, like you're supposed to open it horizontally. She's, But I would put it up like this so I could kind of lower her back leg and tail in there. And then I would take a treat and I would drop it down. And so when she would go down to get it, then I would zip it up real quick. Um, you are hearing Jake the bird. <laughs> um, I came home and now I'm house sitting. So, are you a pretty bird? Is it time to go to bed? Oh, you are a pretty bird. Yeah, you're a pretty bird. <laughs> Animals, good times. Anyway, 
Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm sure there is a more comprehensive list I could have made about uh, recommendations. I, I am grateful that I took her, and I think I will again, definitely. Um, when there's things that, like if I'm just bumming around with family and friends, that's fine. Obviously, if I'm going out and doing adventuring, you can't take a dog everywhere. So it'll just depend on the trip, and I wouldn't do it constantly because that is pretty taxing on both of us. My shoulders hurt from carrying that thing around. Um, but overall, I give it. I give it a. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I thought it was going to be so bad. <laughs> and even though nothing was perfect, I don't know that it can be when you have like kids or animals. Um, I think it's as good as it could get. So anyway, um, I'm going to say good night. I'll let Jake say good night. You can say hi to him. I don't know that you guys have seen him before. Are you a pretty bird? All right, I'll let him say good night and we'll see you next time. Are you a pretty bird, Jake? Yeah, are you pretty bird? Are you a pretty bird? Yeah, who's a pretty bird? Yeah, you are. Can you say peekaboo? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Yeah, is that a pretty bird? Peekaboo. <laughs> Good night, guys.